RidgeTech official tutorial video. Thank you for choosing RidgeTech. In this video, we're going to go over the gallery tab on the My Cameras page. This video is the second in a mini series detailing the My Cameras page of the RidgeTech web portal. Part 1 discusses the overview tab, so if you'd like to learn about that first, go right ahead, and this video will still be here when you get back. The Gallery tab is where your uploaded photos and videos are sent to be viewed on your computer or mobile device for you to then manage in various ways. You're able to look at your photos as they are sent by the camera, request the highest resolution version available on the camera, delete photos, and organize the gallery page to your liking based on how many images per page and how many columns they'll fit into. When you take a look at the gallery, you'll see your photos or videos as cells or thumbnails listed in order from newest to oldest with green page numbers and arrows at the top and bottom left of the gallery, if you have enough for more than one page. Important! The thumbnails you see are smaller files, so you may notice some graininess if your columns are set to a smaller number. This is done to minimize bandwidth so that your gallery can load quickly, especially for mobile devices. You'll have to click on a thumbnail to open the lightbox or viewing mode to see the actual size file your camera sent to the portal. If you'd like for your thumbnails to be the same quality as the file sent by your camera, you can go to the My Account page and on the Options tab, at the very bottom, check the High Res Gallery Thumbs checkbox. Just be aware that this will make your gallery take longer to load and will eat up more data bandwidth on your mobile device. The images in your gallery will look slightly different depending on if your camera is set to photo mode or video mode, as you'll see a small green play button at the top right of video thumbnails. Above your gallery on the top right, you'll see some buttons, one with a wrench icon, one for columns, and one for thumbs. The last two are how you'll customize the number of columns, as well as thumbnail amount per page. You'll see the number of thumbs and pages above these buttons in small text. Now let's click on the wrench. You'll see the wrench pop out from the right with a zero next to it and more buttons. You're now in management mode. You can go through your gallery and click on the thumbnails to place a big green check mark over them, and then use the action button next to the wrench, which now has the number of thumbnails you've selected next to it, to delete what you've selected or request photos or videos you've selected. Note. If you select both photo and video thumbnails and click Request High Res Max, you will only receive max resolution files of your photos and not the videos. Make sure you've selected the correct action for the thumbnails you've checkmarked. The other buttons in this bar include Select None, Select All, and Clear All, referring to selecting and deselecting thumbnails. You're able to select thumbnails across multiple pages as well. Select None and Select All will deselect or select every thumbnail on the current page, while Clear All will clear every selected thumbnail regardless of its page. Click the wrench again to exit management mode. In your gallery, you can click on thumbnails to bring up the light box or viewing mode. This will display your selected photo, video thumbnail, or requested video file front and center and dim the page behind it. You can now scroll through items in your gallery by using the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard or the arrow buttons on either side of the light box. You can also swipe with your mouse by clicking and dragging, and of course you can swipe in the mobile app. At the top right, you can start a slideshow of your thumbnails, enter or exit full screen mode, bring up a list of thumbnails on the right hand side for quick selection, zoom in and out if your photo is large enough, or exit the light box. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see information pertaining to when your photo was taken, its quality, and its point cost. If you've requested a higher resolution version of your thumbnail, you'll see a yellow hourglass down here indicating that your request is pending. Once the request goes through and you receive your photo, a green camera icon will appear in the hourglass's place and over the thumbnail in the gallery. Likewise, after you've requested a video, a white play button will appear over the thumbnail. The green download button on the left of the photo info will save the photo to your computer. You can right click and select save link as to choose where on your PC to save the file. And on the mobile app, this will download the photo directly to your phone's gallery. Note, in the mobile app, while viewing the gallery, rotate your device 90 degrees for this download button to appear. Finally, the blue select button on the right of the photo info will open management mode and place a green check mark on this photo's thumbnail behind the light box. You can scroll through photos with the arrows and select them this way also, before closing the lightbox and selecting an action next to the wrench. 
Don't forget to click the wrench to close management mode when you're done. Keep in mind that photos which are 90 days old will be purged from your gallery, so be sure to request and download any photos and videos you want to keep before those 90 days are up. However, keep in mind that all of your original files will still be on your SD card, unless you manually clear your SD card from the portal. In our next video, we'll go over the Settings tab on the My Cameras page to help you choose how to best run your RidgeTech camera, and in the future, we'll have videos detailing how to get the most out of photo mode and video mode. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online or contact us via the methods shown on screen.